Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Burt. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint uh, using ambient light rejection technology gain times two. Now, this right here is our new Luminous Black Screen Paint. And we call this the uh, Luminous Ambient Light Rejection Eclipse Cinema. Uh, it gives you the ability to pretty much turn any surface you want into a jet black OLED light TV. And it looks absolutely incredible. I've done demonstrations. The first demonstrations were done on using our ViewSonic uh, PX747 Ultra 4K projector. Now I'm doing this on Ultra Short Throw because, like I said, the screen's at 92%. I need to see exactly how it's going to react on different projectors. So we have my NEC. This is the U310W. I think it's U310W. Ultra short throw projector. Keep in mind this is an older projector. The biggest screen size that this projector can project without becoming fuzzy is actually 80 inches. So it's a very older, it's a much older projector. Uh, newer projectors that have uh, more advanced parts um, are going to be to produce a better picture. And I keep in mind if I can do this on a projector this old and keep in mind this projector is only a 720p and ultra and short throw projector which of a newer model is going to look 10 times better than the short throw projector I'm showing right now. All right, so let's begin, and let me step back for a minute. I'm gonna show you the lights we have in the environment. All right, see how bright the screen is. And like I said, there's the ultra short though right there. All right, so keep in mind, I was thinking that I might keep the screen here in the, in the dining room. My wife absolutely loves it. Keep in the dining room, put a nice uh, cherry uh, um, oak or maybe um, mahogany kind of trim around it so it blends in very well with the china cabinet and basically get an ultra short throw projector and push it right up against the screen so that way a more newer model and push it right up against the screen so we can watch movies and stuff right here in the dining room and of course I'm going to uh, redesign the cat the case for the ultra short throw so it kind of blends in and make it look like a antique jewelry box that's another project on its own but I'll show you that one when I'm done with it alright so let's begin and we're going to show you the white levels on our jet black screen. Well, first things first. Sorry about that. Let me put the let me put the um. I can't put the projector in blank mode. I don't think this projector has a freaking blank mode on it. I wish it did. Oh well. We'll turn off the projector. As you can see, the screen is black. Well, pretty. I'm pretty sure you can see it from here. I mean, no one's going to paint a border this big on the screen. No one. This is showing the white levels on. An ultra short throw projector and a fully lit environment. And we'll walk around the screen. Very important to show off the angle gain. You can see it from every angle. And it just shows you that the screen will react on ultra short throw projectors. Now, keep in mind, this is my first time doing a demonstration on ultra short throw, so trust me, I'm surprised as you are because I didn't think it was going to work too well. Now, like I said, we do show, sell an ultra short those screen paint. Some people may think the black might be a little too much for them, so that's why we have a version of a light, light silver version of it. But these, this particular screen paint only comes in black. The Eclipse only comes in black only. Now I'm going to run that back again. And we'll take our lights out, which is not going to make a difference because, like I said, the screen has incredible white levels, contrast levels, and light rejection technology. It's going to look good either way. Now, I think the last demonstration, I'm, I'm going to test this on the 50 lumens, which we don't advise to use 50 lumen projectors on the screen. But we do the 50 lumen and also too we'll do the short throw projector which I have in the living room. Now the screen paint will be available on the 5th of October. It will be available in one quart, one gallon, and two gallons, three gallons, and five gallons will be coming later on. This is a spray on application. It will be available worldwide for free. And like I said, you can coat any surface you want. Now the original screen, which you saw in the first demonstrations, was that sheet of plexiglass. This is now actually sprayed onto a much larger um, surface, which is not plexiglass. It's actually sprayed on um, blackout cloth. Right, we'll grab another demonstration from there. Put my lights back on. I like to have my lights on. I don't like doing demonstrations in the dark. I can't stand it. Now 
And this will give you an idea how beautiful the colors are, how beautiful the white levels are. All this, you know, you have to be able to see. I'm really impressed. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've done this demonstration on an ultra short throw. All the demonstrations were done using the 4K projector. And keep in mind, this is only 720p. This projector only produces 720p. It can do 1080p, but it's not 1080p, it's more like 1080i. One of the things you don't have to worry about is you can use this in a fully lit environment, which I plan to do. This is what I'm planning to do. This screen right here, I'm going to put a nice cherry oak, something that's going to match with my cabinet. And I'm going to uh, get an ultra short throw projector, change out the casing so I can give it kind of, I'm, I'm going to put a, it's a design, I'm going to design, I'm going to design some kind of like jewelry box or something so it blends in with the interior of my, uh, my living room. And I'm going to, me and my wife are going to sit here, eat, and watch movies. Of course, we'll get a much bigger screen than this because I'm going to get a more up-to-date ultra short throw projector. Look at the white levels on that. Oh, I can't wait, man, to get this out on the market, man. I got so many people asking me questions on this, it's not even funny. Do another one right here. Like I said, there's no point in doing contrast demonstrations because the screen's black. It's going to produce amazing contrast regardless. It's the white levels, it's what I need to see. White levels and deep colors, this is what I need to see from, this, from the technology. Okay, just in case my time runs out of here, I'm Kenneth from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Projection Technology Game Times 2. And this right here is our new Luminous Amulite Projection Eclipse Cinema. Spray on screen paint that looks absolutely incredible. Look at this on ultra short throw. So now I know I can put in the description when I write out the rest of the description on the screen that it works with ultra short throw and it does work with long throw, 4K and 720p. So now the next step is short throw, which I think short throw is gonna be a freaking cakewalk. Then again, can't really say until I put the project, bring the projector in here and do the demonstration. So I'll know when I get when I bring it in. Very very impressed with this. Very impressed. Look at the angle on that. Look at the white levels on the book. It's really really good. I got churches right now contacting me on this technology because they can use this in their church and they don't have to worry about the screen washing out or fading. They can read the text crystal clear. Yeah, very good, very good. Let me go ahead and show you the projector too while we're at it right up on the screen so you can see the projector. So this right here, this is the projector I purchased. I got this for 130 bucks. This is an NEC, so NEC projector right there. Ultra short throw. This projector shoots only 720p only. And like I said, the biggest screen I can get out of there is probably 80 inches before it actually starts to get deteriorate a little bit. It's really good. Very happy with this. this. is an amazing screen paint. I'm telling you, this stuff is absolutely incredible. All right, so like I said, next demonstration of uh, Usonic short throw projector. The demonstration of that too. Sure about that. Just looking through my selections really quick. I'm more than happy with this. This. Hmm. Sorry if you hear me over here. Just, just I'm, just, I'm really happy with this. I really am. I'm over here just thinking. Now the labels. I gotta get, get upstairs. We gotta start working on the labels. I got a graphic designer that I work with. I sent him over um, some of the labels that we developed, and they do the printing and all that stuff for us. So we're working on the labels. 
I want to make the containers different. I want a different container for this. One of the problems I heard with ultra short throw projectors is the fact that on darker screens they come up really dark. Very, very dark. And I'll tell you why they come up dark. Because a lot of the high end screens out here are not compatible with short throw. That's why they come up dark. Sorry about that. As you can see, ultra short throw projector, look at the white levels. This demonstration yesterday. Got to do it on the short throw. Look at the white levels on this black screen. If you notice, the environment never changes. I did this demonstration on the long throw and I've done this demonstration now on the ultra short throw. The environment does not change. I do not make the environment comfortable for the, uh, for the screen. Tons of ambient light. This is how your screens are supposed to react, react. This is why our screens are so superior because of the fact that we put them in tons of ambient light. We use all different sorts of projectors. We test them on high performance screens. This is why they react this way. Me taking this outside too also I gotta see what this looks like outside it's not gonna be as advanced as the panel the panels outside are flawless I still want to see what this looks like out looks like outside all right gotta go gotta get out of here again thank you all for your time I am Kenneth from Illuminous 4k screen paint the new screen paint will be available on the 5th of October like I said, it will be available with free worldwide shipping. And keep in mind, this is a spray-on application only. Came up much better than I thought. Much better than I thought on short throw.